Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, your lovely faces, to a brand new video here on the channel. Now, we've got an update on the Dan Wooten situation, but it's not exactly the one that we want. We've got something now which is currently going through the uh, government, the Houses of Parliament, regarding Dan Wooten. So we're going to jump straight on into it. So, MPs demand answers from GB News on serious accusations against Dan Wooten. The Chair of Parliament Culture, Media and Sport Committee wrote to the channel, so wrote to GB News, following the extensive allegations against him. The new Chair of Parliament's Culture, Media and Sports Committee has written to GB News, demanding to know what actions it has taken following the serious accusations against their presenter, Dan Wooten. Now remember with this as well, I'm going to bring in a few other people. Obviously we saw Philip Schofield, Hugh Edwards, and at this moment in time, we've also seen you with accusations against Russell Brand, where programs and channels and companies are getting rid of all this stuff. But GB News isn't for him. Wooten, currently under investigation by his former employers at The Sun and The Mail Online, after Byland Times revealed extensive allegations about his behaviour while working for the two publications. However, despite these allegations, Wooten has continued to host his GB News show and used it to claim that dark forces are trying to bring him and GB News down. Which we do have to say as well, remember guys, GB News was founded, what? Two years after this investigation started. People need to remember that. The Culture Committee's Conservative Chair, Caroline Dinich, has today written to the channel's Chief Executive, Angelus, this guy here, I'm not going to say his surname, but if you remember, we've also done a video on him where he has paid off people just to keep him silent. And he's been accused of things himself. He was asked, so they've asked whether he has launched any investigation into the allegations against Dan Wooten and reminding him that it is vital that these working in and with the media can be confident that they are working in a safe environment. In July this year, we wrote to the editor of The Sun regarding this serious accusations made against Wooten. This is what she wrote. The newspaper responded by setting out its ongoing investigation into his alleged behaviour. The following month, the MG Media, so Daily Mail, they announced Mr. Wooten has been suspended as a columnist while its own investigations were ongoing. Since then, we are aware that Mr. Wooten continues to broadcast on GB News and indeed discuss the accusations against him during this broadcast on the 19th of July. It's the story we went through as well. GB News top boss, this is that Angelo guy. He uh, faced allegations himself. And he also paid the shutdown claims that was coming from inside. It is vital that viewers have faith in the media, especially in the case of news brands, where truthfulness and accuracy are key. It is also vital that those working in and with the media can be confident that they are working in a safe environment. 1 billion percent correct. We would therefore be grateful if you could set us out, you know, set us out to see if any investigations or processes have been undertaken since the recent complaints about him were publicly raised, and details of the policies and procedures available to staff at GB News in the event they seek to raise issues about the conduct of individuals or the culture at the organisation. Questions of due impartiality and professionalism. Dinage also raised the issue of the channel's reporting of the recent allegations of this made against Russell Brand, in the aftermath of the story broken by the Sunday Times and dispatches, multiple GP news presenters and contributors took to social media to announce their support for Brand. One of these presenters, Beverly Turner, who described Brand as her hero, went on to front the channel's coverage of the allegations against him. We are also aware that during the weekend of the 16th to 17th of September, GB News presenters opted to use their social media platforms to defend Russell Brand against accusations of this. While GB News is not responsible for this content, it is concerning that Beverly Turner, who described Mr. Brand as a hero and invited him to appear on her show, subsequently fronted GB News coverage of the allegations against Mr. Brand on the morning of 18th of September. During that broadcast, she announced that if he'd offered to come on this morning, we'd have him, let's be honest. While Miss Turner was challenged on her comments at length by a co-presenter, which she was, Andrew Pierce, we remain concerned that having a presenter so clearly supporting an individual who is the subject of intense media coverage, including seeking their appearance on the show, 
undermines any perception of due impartiality in the broadcasting. Which, to be honest with you, this here is 100% correct. Again, people are going to be on either side, you know? And we've seen it from a lot of people. Social media, you know, jury by social media, trial by media, all this is going on. And news stations, they're meant to be like, right, okay, impartiality. Report on it. That's what they do. We'd be grateful if you could set out your discussions with GB News presenters on their responsibilities on due impartiality and professionalism when seeking to front coverage of news events and any actions you intend to take in response to these issues. GB News was contacted for comment but had not responded by the time of publication. Now, this went out yesterday, and this is very true because with the Russell Brand situation, you know, it's everywhere. Every single media is covering it, not just the UK, but the world. And obviously, when the Dan Wooten story broke, you had Byland Times, you had The Telegraph, you had a few little, you know, you know, little, little papers, but then all of a sudden, Dan Wooten and his lawyers shut them all down. Why? You know? Because, again, Russell Brand's situation is completely different. You know, that guy is being accused of some really horrible things. But again, no, remember, accused, allegations. And there's no evidence with the Russell Brand situation where the journalism and everything else, they've gone to the police, right, this is everything we have on this subject matter, which we've been covering for four years now. Here you go. They haven't done that. With Dan Wooten, they handed a 28-page dossier to the police of evidence. So they're like, right, we got all of this evidence here. That's... That's the difference between everything else, because obviously with the police and everything. But again, no, Russell Brand accused of really, really horrible things. But again, no, this day and age, it is, it's always going to be trial by media this day and age. But with Dan Wooten, it just went quiet. Almost as soon as his lawyers got in touch, everyone was just like, oh, we can't touch that. Why? Why can't you touch it? Going on the Russell Brand situation, like I said in the video the other day, Channel 4 was supposedly not aware of what the program and allegations were, which is just, what? It's almost like now with Channel 4 is trying to put the blame on the journalists and on Dispatch for not telling them what's going on. If it's been investigating for four years, Channel 4 knew, you know? But like I said, that's another video for another day this week. But with Dan Wooten, it needs to be found out what GB News is doing, because... Philip Schofield, like I say, Hugh Edwards, all people in the past decade who has been accused of things, they've come off TV, they've had their shows stopped, they've had their articles or whatever stopped, but Dan Wooten is still presenting his show. Why? That's what we got for this from a video here, ladies and gents. Let me know what you think down below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with this, and I'll see you all soon.